Hi, it's Peter Wolf here, and thank you for joining in again today to uh, the Wolf College of Coffee's uh, weekly vlog. I'm uh, standing in front of our uh, very gorgeous uh, Probat UG22 uh, that we use here at the Wolf, uh, Wolf Roast House. And today we're going to talk about adjusting the drum gap, uh, and uh, we'll be doing that here on our UG22. Uh, the couple of things, why would the drum gap need to be adjusted? Uh, quite simply, if you're hearing uh, during the course of the uh, course of the day, you're hearing sort of a, a grinding sort of sound uh, coming from, from the roaster, then obviously the drum is touching very close or is touching the front of uh, the face plate. So we need to, uh, need to sort of widen the gap uh, on the roaster. The other thing is if the gap is too wide, uh, what we can do is have lots of beans and debris sort of falling down between the front of the the face plate uh, and the edge of the drum itself, uh, that's not cool. Uh, so we need to sort of reduce that gap uh, as well. So how do we do this? Well, first things first is the drum must, uh, the drum or the roaster must be completely cool. Um, so uh, it must, uh, must uh, be done either first thing in the morning um, or you know, you've, you've got it sort of completely cold. Uh, obviously you need to open up the drum door. Uh, the two tools that we're going to be needing is our feeler gauge uh, and also uh, our, our C spanner. Uh, or, or drum spanner as some people like to call it and this is what we'll be using to physically move the, the drum up and down uh, and create and expand the gap. thing to remember is that if you're turning in a clockwise direction uh, this will open up the gap on the roaster. If you're going in an anti-clockwise direction this will close the gap on the roaster. So what we need to be doing is getting out our feeler gauge um, and we're looking for half a millimetre or 0 0.05 of a millimetre so we find that here and you need to be placing that between basically the, the face plate and the drum. And the reason why they call it a feeler gauge is because you're wanting to feel if there's any areas where it sticks, whether there's any sort of a resistance and how sort of loose or sloppy that it is, but it should move freely. Like you can see here between the drum and uh, the face plate. Uh, and that would indicate that it's at a very, it's at a great gap. Um, so 0.05 is what you're aiming for. Uh, if it feels that it's a bit too firm, then obviously we need to open the gap sort of more on, on the roaster. And you do that by uh, taking your adjustment spanner that we have here. Whoops, locking that on. Okay, and then obviously moving this in a clockwise direction. Yep, so moving it in a clockwise direction will open the gap. And if we need to reduce the gap, obviously it's in the reverse direction, which is sort of anti-clockwise. That is how you uh, address your drum gaps. Thanks for watching.